it is to go back and ask Congress for more money, more and more money. We have right now almost $20 trillion in debt. Obamacare will never work. It's very bad, very bad health insurance, far too expensive, and not only expensive for the person that has it, unbelievably expensive for our country. It's going to be one of the biggest line items very shortly. We have to... Hey, it's something about you right now, boo-boo. Get out of my video! Absolutely much less expensive and something that works where your plan can actually be tailored. We have to get rid of the lines You're around still the there. state, or official lines, where we stop insurance companies from coming in and competing because they wanted mm. President Obama and whoever was working on it, they want to leave what those lines because chicken? that gives the insurance companies eating essentially chicken? monopolies. Oh. More competition. You will have the finest health care plan there is. She wants to go to a single-payer plan, which would be a George, disaster. put your pants up. Somewhat similar to Canada. And if you ever notice, the Canadians, when they need a big operation, when something happens, they come into the United States in many cases. Because their, their system is so slow. It's, it's catastrophic in certain Damn, ways. Damn, look at that guy over there. Payer, which means the government basically he rules is everything. Red. Hillary Clinton has been after this for years. Obamacare was the first step. Obamacare is a total no, disaster. Right. right. And not only are your rates going up by numbers... Is it too hot people, in there or what? But your I deductibles no are going up. So that unless you get hit... By oh, the attack, don't do that, Bryce. It is a disastrous plan and it has to be repealed and replaced. Secretary Clinton, let me follow up with you. Your husband called Obamacare, quote, the craziest thing in the world, saying that small business owners are getting killed, this premiums double, coverage is cut in half. Was he mistaken or was his mistake simply telling the truth? No, I mean, he clarified what he meant, and, and it's very clear. Look, we are in a situation in our country where if we were to start all over again, we might come up with a different system. But we have an employer-based system. That's where the vast majority of people get their health care. And the Oops. Affordable Care Act was meant to try to fill the gap between people who were too poor and couldn't put together any resources to afford health care, namely people on Medicaid. Hey! Obviously Medicare, which is a single boys, system, boys. takes care of our elderly and does a great job doing it, by the way. No, 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 no. And then all Don't the people who were employed, but people who were working but didn't have the money to afford insurance and didn't have anybody, an employer or anybody else, to help them. That was the, the slot that the Obamacare uh, approach was to take and like I say 20 million hey stop pushing your brother what's wrong so with you if we just rip it up and throw it away what Donald's not telling you is we just turn it back to the better run nonsense and that means you guys play too rough. companies get to do pretty much whatever they want including hey I'm sorry you've got diabetes you had cancer your child has asthma your time is up. you may not be able to have insurance because you can't afford it so let's fix what's broken about it but let's not throw it away and get Daddy, can you tell that boy to stop being mean to his brother? What's the deal? Mr. Trump, let me follow up on this. I just want to just remember everything's broken about it, everything. Number two, Bernie Sanders said that Hillary Clinton has very bad judgment. This is a perfect example of it. Trying Trump, to save Obamacare, which is... You said you want to end <laughs> Obamacare. You said you want to end Obamacare. You also said you want to make coverage accessible for people with pre-existing conditions. How do you force insurance companies to do that? If you're no longer mandating that yeah, everyone get insurance, insurance. To, you're going to have plans. What, what does that mean? That, well, I'll tell you what it means. You're going to have plans that are so good because we're going to have so much competition in the insurance industry. Once we break out, once we break out the lines and allow the competition to come, are President you, you going to have a mandate that Americans Anderson, have to have health insurance? Me. President Obama, by <laughs> keeping those lines, the boundary and this, lines don't interrupt him now. He's going to come for you. Done until just very toward the end of the passage <sighs> of Obamacare. Which, Why, by the way, was a fraud, you know that, that because Jonathan Gruber, the architect of Obamacare, was said, he said it was a great lie, it was a big lie. President Obama said, you keep your doctor, you keep your plan. The whole thing was a fraud, and it doesn't work. But when we get rid of those lines, you will have competition, and we will be able to keep pre-existing. We'll also be able to help people that can't get don't have money because we are going to have people protected and Republicans feel this way believe it or not and strongly this way we're going to block grant into the states we're going to block grant into Med Medicaid into Thank the states Trump. so that we will be yeah right he's not going to take care of people without the necessary <laughs> funds to take care of themselves Thank you, Mr. Trump.
We now go to Gorba Hamid with a question for both candidates. Hi. There are 3.3 million Muslims in the United States, and I'm mm. one of them. You've mentioned working with Muslim nations, but with Islamophobia on the rise, how will you help people like me deal with the consequences of being labeled as a threat to the country after the election is over? Mr. Trump, here first. Well, you're right about Islamophobia, and that's a shame. But one thing we have to do is we have to make sure that, because there is a problem. I mean, whether we like it or not, and we can be very politically correct, but whether we like it or not, there is a problem. And we have to be sure that Muslims come in and report when they see something going on, when they see hatred. Hey, what happened to the volume? Daddy! What happened to the volume? George, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do to the volume? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He was messing with something behind it. Yeah. Go sleep. Go. Go sleep. Uh oh. Good night. Go. You guys making my you spoiling my video. Can you use that remote and put that on? Well they do have the two minutes timer right there. But I guess sometimes I don't even want to look at it. Daddy. What's up? What the big remote? What's big remote? This one? Yeah, can you use it to put the volume up? If it works. Successful Muslims. We just lost a particularly well known one with Muhammad Ali. My vision of America is an America where everyone has a place. If you're willing to work hard, you do your part, you contribute to the community, that's what America is. That's what we want America to be for our children and our grandchildren. It's also very short sighted and even dangerous to be engaging in the kind of demagogic rhetoric that Donald has about Muslims. We need American Muslims to be part uh -oh. of Somebody's our back downstairs. on our front lines. I've worked with a lot of different Muslim groups around America. Oh. I've met with a lot of them, and Somebody. I've heard how important it is for them to feel that they are wanted is there, huh? and included and part of our country, part of our homeland security, and that's what I want to see. It's also important I intend to defeat ISIS to do so in a coalition with majority Muslim nations. Right now, a lot of those nations are hearing what Donald says and wondering, why should we cooperate with the Americans? And this is a gift to ISIS and the terrorists, violent jihadist terrorists. We are not at war with Islam. And it is a mistake and it plays into the hands of the terrorists to act as though we are. I know, so right? I want a country where citizens like you and your family are just as welcome as anyone else. Thank you, Secretary. Hey, Amen. Mr. Trump in December. That was a well this. answer. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Yep. We <laughs> have no choice. We have no choice. Your running mate said this week that the Muslim ban is no longer your position. Is that correct? And if it is, was it a mistake to have a religious test? First of all, Captain Khan is an American hero. And if I were president at that time, he would be alive today. Because unlike her, who voted for the war without knowing what she was doing, I would not have had our people in Iraq. Iraq was a disaster. You support the same so you would have been alive today. The Muslim uh -huh. man is something that 
in some form has morphed into a extreme Stop. Right from certain areas of the world. Hillary Clinton wants to allow. And, and why did it morph excuse, into that? No, did you? No, answer the question. Do you, you still believe? You I do. Me all the time. What are you interrupting? Please explain whether or not the Muslim ban still stands. It's called extreme vetting. We are going to areas like Syria where they're coming in by the tens of thousands because of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton wants to allow a 550% increase over Obama. People are coming into our country like we have no idea who they are, where they are from, what their feelings about our country is, and she wants 550% more. This is going to be the great Trojan horse of all time. We have enough problems in this country. I believe in building safe zones. I believe in having other people pay for them. As an example, the Gulf states who are not carrying their weight, but they have nothing but money and take care of people. But I don't want to have, with all the problems this country has and all of the problems that you see going on, Hundreds of thousands of people coming in from Syria yeah. when we know nothing about them. We know nothing about their values and we know nothing about their love for our country. And Secretary Clinton, let me ask you about that. Because you have asked for an increase from 10 to 65,000 Syrian refugees. We know you want tougher vetting. That's not a perfect system. So why take the risk of having those refugees come into the country? Well, first of all, I will not let anyone into our country that I think poses a risk to us. But there are a lot of refugees, mm. women and children. Think of that picture we all saw of that four-year-old boy with the blood on his forehead because he'd been bombed by the Russian and Syrian air forces. There are children suffering <coughs> in this catastrophic war largely, I believe, because of Russian aggression. And we need to do our part. We by no means are carrying anywhere I say, near uh, the load that Europe and others are. Hmm? But we will have vetting that is as tough as it needs to be from our professionals, our intelligence uh, experts, and others. But it is important for us as a uh, policy you know, not to say, as Donald has said, we're going to ban people based on a religion. How do you do that? We are a country founded on religious freedom and liberty. Right. How do we do what he has advocated no. No. without causing great distress within our no. own country? Are we going to have religious tests when people fly into our country? Right. And how do we expect to be able to implement those. So I thought that what he said was extremely dangerous unwise and even dangerous. Yes. And indeed, you can look at the propaganda on a lot of the terrorist sites. And what Donald Trump says about Muslims is used to recruit more fighters mm -hmm. because they want to create a war between us. And yep. the final thing I would say, this is the 10th or 12th time that he's denied being for the war in Iraq. We have it on tape. The entire press corps has uh -oh. looked at it. He's going to interrupt you. But it never stops him from saying whatever he wants has to say. It's not been debunked. So please. It's uh, not been debunked. And I was against, I was against, and you can see it. I was against the war in Iraq. It has not been debunked. And you voted for it, and you shouldn't have. Well, I just went over here. Fact checking on that. I'd like to move on to She's an online over here. question. She just went about 25 seconds over her time. Okay. Come on, man. Very quickly, please. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, oh, man, no. in terms of having people come into our country, we have many criminal illegal aliens. When we want to send Get them down. back to their country, 